Good morning, friends. Gather round as we dive into the mystical waters of Tanya on this uh, um, Kippur. Picture a cosmic elevator where divine energy trickles down, down, down through the realms of creation, like a child descending from the bustling department store in New York where the elevator operator joyfully announces, going down. Chapter 20 of Tanya unravels the dance between creator and creation. There's an intricate interplay of divine energy, from the highest world of Atsilas down to the earthy realm of Asiya. This isn't just a philosophical journey. It's a reminder that the soil beneath our feet is a miracle maker, producing food year after year, a testament to Hashem's boundless kindness. Imagine planting a tiny seed, and voila, it transforms into a flourishing plant. It's a lesson in the power of creation where something emerges from nothing, echoing the divine utterances of the past. As we prepare for the Day of Atonement, let's reflect on this infinite cycle of giving and receiving. The earth is alive and so are we, constantly drawing from that divine wellspring of energy. Let's embrace the gift of existence.